All right, so we've taken the time to uh, put in the screws here uh, into the servo heads so that the servo arms cannot pop off. And we're ready to test everything out for a final operation. I've gone ahead and flashed in the code into the core, um, which has just simply putting two slashes in at line 47 to take uh, the comment uh, for define calibration off. And it won't be in calibration mode anymore. It'll be in the regular operation mode. Um, what we also have done is we've prepared a dry erase marker. Um, it's a fine tip. And this is a 1 quarter inch by 20 uh, pitch nut. And what I did is I put the nut into a vise and I started working the pen tip um, into the nut so that the tip of the thread, uh, the, the, I guess the tip of the pen, I'm sorry, would be threaded here. So it works like this. And once that's in the, the arm, it will secure it in place. So we'll do that right now. Just hand snug, it doesn't need to be with a wrench or anything. Um, and then the other component is this uh, eraser. It's a piece of white Velcro with adhesive on it to a piece of plastic that we shaped into a ring with a hole in the middle. So that hole in the middle should start up in alignment with the pen. Like that. What we did do is we removed the sweeper holder. It wasn't needed with this particular design. Um, you can experiment with other pens and uh, erasers and maybe use the sweeper holder, but we don't need it in this case. So that's everything put together. Um, we can just apply the power now and the unit will start to initialize and power up. It'll start with sweeping and then it'll put the sweeper back aside and then it'll right the time. So right now it's taking the eraser, erasing the board, and put it back. 1336. So once a minute passes it'll once again grab the sweeper, erase the board, and then put the new time up. It'll just do this indefinitely.